the flare-up's continuing to push westward. So it's just come, uh, it's just now uh, continuing to remain in Sa'uiwa and pushing out through towards Magu. I've been hitting it pretty hard. time so this area was all fired um, again that was about five years ago so the recovery we've seen here the vegetation is clearly uh, providing some of the fuel to get this guy going they've been hitting it pretty hard with looks like helicopters um, water dropping helicopters but still a significant amount of smoke uh, right here um, in the public lands just immediately south of Trero slash Lynn Road. Okay, so that last recording was at 4, so this is about 4.45, so the drops seem to have worked pretty well, so the, um, the winds are still taking it westward, still towards campus, and, uh, but you can see there's, there's much less defined presentation of smoke, so the veg that it hit that lit up is pretty much, uh, at least for now, burned through, so we have some um, uh, significant high clouds but uh, nowhere near the volume of smoke that was coming out so the water dropping helicopter seemed to have done a good job um, again hasn't touched hasn't yet touched this uh, grassy field which is a little dark for you to see now it was um, still has a good amount of uh, light fuels that would burn really quickly not for particularly long but um, uh, so we was still closed the entrance is still sealed up and uh, things are, are looking more mellow here at about 4.45 on uh, Tuesday afternoon.